course they count. Those are paid for by Disney. Disney runs and operates and owns Shanghai, Hong Kong, Paris, Walt Disney World, and Disneyland. The ones that they don't own are literally just the two in Tokyo. So, and a lot of those parks that I just mentioned, save for Hong Kong, are all multi-park places. I have been blessed to experience Shanghai and it was absolutely insane. And in my opinion, based off of both personal experience and or like uh, videos and things online and pictures, I think that it's the top of the Disney owned parks in terms of aesthetic. That's if you're basing the park as a whole. If we're going by land and individual lands, I would say of the Disney parks, the best land if we're not counting New Orleans Square, which you know I already count as number one, but number two has to be Pandora. I mean, come on, best food, best rides. Navi River Journey is a vibe, okay? I know we're all for Flight of Passage, but Navi River Journey, but so sleep on it. Pandora's not better than New Orleans Square, but it's the next best one. But Shanghai was the first to really abandon the Castle Park you know, map layout and structure. They had completely different lands, different ideas. It was completely a unique experience. And that castle, literally, if we're gonna talk about best castles, y'all, it's given Paris a run for its money. And we all know how I feel about that. Or maybe you don't, but I love it. Another hot topic, the best ride of any Disney owned park is Pirates of the Caribbean at Shanghai. That is the best ride I think I've ever been on in my whole life. It is something that a video online cannot mimic the reality of the situation where you legitimately feel like you're underwater. It's insanity. And I would go all the way back to China just to ride that ride. 